Hi folks, David Waring here again with InformTrades.com. In our last lesson we learned about the different types of triangle chart patterns, the ascending triangle, descending triangle, and symmetrical triangle. In today's lesson we're going to learn specific strategies for trading each of these patterns complete with entry and exit points. So let's get started. Okay, so as we learned in our last lesson, the direction in which the market breaks out of the triangle and whether the market is in an uptrend or a downtrend determines whether the pattern is a continuation or a reversal pattern and therefore whether the traders are going to look to get long or go short uh, as a result of the breakout. Um, as with other patterns we've recently learned about, when traders spot a ascending triangle, which we're going to start with, they will look to trade the break of the upper resistance line. The uh, target is then derived by measuring the distance between the starting high point of the ascending triangle um, and the starting low point of the triangle, which is then projected upward from the break point. The stop is then placed just below the most recent trough of the pattern. So let's look at an example here. We've got our ascending triangle that we learned about in last lesson. We have the break. We then measure the distance between the high and the low of the start of the pattern, and we get five points. So that is our target for the buy entry of the trade. And then we place our stop just below the most recent trough of the pattern. Okay. The descending triangle is basically just the opposite. Um, it's a mirror image. Um, we're normally going to see these in downtrends, um, and we're going to look to trade, or traders will commonly look to trade the break of the lower support line. Um, the target is then calculated in the same way as with the ascending triangle by measuring the distance between the high and the low points, um, and then projecting that distance downward from the break. The stop is then placed just above the nearest peak. So. Here's our descending triangle. You can see there, same one from last lesson. We see the break here. We see the distance between, or measure the distance between the high and the low at the start of the pattern, and we get 800 points there, so that's our target for the trade. And then we place our stop just above the most recent peak. All right. <clears throat> the symmetrical triangle can be seen in either uptrends, downtrends, or most likely, or, or most of the time, it's commonly seen in um, directionless markets as uh, it's an indication that neither bulls nor bears are winning out um, and that's why the market range contracts as they continue to sort of fight each other and then um, that's why traders are going to look to trade in the direction of the breakout it doesn't it's it's uh, doesn't matter which side it breaks out on because the breakout is an indication of uh, the side that's won so if it breaks to the upside the bulls have won if it breaks to the downside the bears have won so <clears throat> Got our, uh, we've got our symmetrical triangle here from, uh, that we looked at from last lesson, and in this instance it's broken to the downside. Okay, so uh, traders are going to look to get short there commonly. And the, uh, the target is, is measured in the same way as it is with the other two triangles by getting the distance at the start. So in this case it's uh, 1,050. Project that downward, and that's our target for the trade. And then the stop, because it's broken to the upside, is placed just above the most recent peak. If, um, if that uh, trade had broken to the upside, if the market had broken to the upside of the symmetrical triangle there, then uh, everything would be done in reverse. All right. Um, as with our other lessons and, and some of the patterns that we've looked at recently in those, uh, volume is often looked to as a confirmation with uh, all three of these patterns. Um, traders are going to like to see um, a decrease in volume as the uh, pattern matures and then an increase in volume on the break um, of the uh, breakout from the triangle. So uh, keep that in mind just as with our other strategies that we've looked at uh, most recently. All right, that's our lesson for today, and that's going to complete our lessons on charting patterns. Um, in our next lesson, we're going to start to look at uh, trading indicators or technical indicators, um, which, is, uh, which are going to be good for complementing a lot of the stuff that we've learned so far. So we hope to see you in those lessons. Um, as always, if you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them in the comments section below, and have a great day.